Arikoboshito. Glory to Jesus. Good morning, saints. Welcome to Morning Mana with Apostle Juliana. Jesus is Lord. What a morning. This is the day that the Lord has made, and surely we are going to be glad and rejoice in it. Yes, just invite somebody to this morning. The entrance of thy, this word bringeth light. So all the time when we hear the word of God, our lives are changed. Our lives are are transformed there is no wasted time in the presence of god so we must encourage each other to bask in his presence to bask in his word before we pray before we start why don't we raise our hands together in prayer father in jesus name we thank you we worship you we adore you we revere you in the name of our lord jesus christ we thank you for this special day we thank you for this special moment yes in your presence in your word to be taught to be encouraged to be energized by your word for your word is life for your word is life your word is you father thank you for the fellowship with you in your word this morning in jesus name oh hallelujah yes today we are going to conclude our our topic about follow-ups and we must know that follow-up is the mission which were given by god for the expansion of the kingdom to encourage each other as i said yesterday out there no there are things which want to destroy new believers even those who are already in the lord but it is important for us to follow up each other up so that we can protect each other so that we can make sure that you know, none of us was destroyed hallelujah so that we are not vulnerable to the pray of the enemy out there in the name of the lord jesus christ hallelujah glory to jesus and we follow each other up so that we can be what christ has called us to be we so that we can be developed fully to the potentials which god has given us to the potential which god has given us wow so what am i saying i said now today the mission follow up we have a mission number one to win souls after that we have a mission to follow up each new believers and also we have got a mission to follow up up each other hallelujah glory to jesus just as an emphasis as i close we said a follow-up is integral in the mission you know of winning souls it's integral in the mission of changing decisions into disciples in the mission of developing people into true disciples hallelujah glory to jesus follow-up is important in the mission you know in, in the in, in the mission of building disciples who are I like Christ. We have got the character of Christ. Who are who he followed the patterns of Christ and who are grafted in the church. Hallelujah. I want us to go to Ephesians chapter 4, verse 11 to 13, the TLB version. I want us to go to Ephesians chapter chapter 4, verse, verse 1. 11 to 13 hallelujah glory to jesus hallelujah glory to jesus hallelujah glory to jesus hallelujah it says they some of us have been given special abilities as apostles hallelujah some of us has been given special abilities as apostles to others god has given gifts of being able to preach well some have special abilities in winning people to Christ. I think those are evangelists. You know, helping them to trust in him as their savior. Still, others have been given have the gift of caring for God's people as shepherd does to his sheep, leading and teaching them the way of God. Why is it that he gave us special abilities to do certain things best it is god that it is that god's people will be equipped to be better to do to do better work for him it is for god's people that they could be built to do better work for him hallelujah the other one says so that god's people will be equipped to do better work for him so when we follow up when we are given teachers apostles prophet the aim of god is that god's people will be equipped to do better work for him building up the church the body of christ to a to 
reach your position of strength and maturity. Glory to Jesus. I want me to emphasize this. I said mission follow up. We are strengthening each other. We are developing each other. I like the TOB version. It says, why, why, why is that? Why is that he gave a special ability to do certain things best? Then the answer is, it is that God's people will be equipped to do better works for him. So we are being equipped to do better works. We are being equipped to do better works for the Lord. Ha! Ah, building up the church, the body of Christ to, 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 to a position of strength and maturity. There is a position God wants us to be. There is a point of maturity. There is a position God wants you and me to be. Let's go to verse 13. Hallelujah. The next verse. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Glory to Jesus. That's not going to happen on its own. We need to work with each other. This Bible says until finally there is a final position. Until finally we all believe alike about our salvation and our our savior there is a belief we must have alike when you're born again there are lots of things which you need clarity on when you're born again there are things which you need somebody to talk to you about but there is a position that the bible tells us that until finally we believe alike about our salvation and about our savior god's son and all become fully grown in the lord yes to the point of being full with Christ. So there is a position which God wants us to be. There is a growth which we are supposed to be. You and me, we are supposed to grow up. My brothers, my sisters, our life on this earth is short. Is short. There's one thing which is mandatory. There's one thing which is compulsory. There's one thing which we have to do, which we must not take for granted. It's our growth. We have to grow and develop ourselves in Christ. Because because if we are well grown, we become able disciples who can also disciple others. If we are full grown, we expand the kingdom. If we are full grown, we become effective ministers of the gospel. So it is important that this mission follow up. We must take it importantly until we are all finally believe alike about our salvation and about our savior, about God's son, until we become fully grown in the Lord. My God, my my God, I don't know how to emphasize this. There's a full grown stage. There's a full grown stage which you and me must be. There's a full grown stage which the church must be. There's a full grown stage in the Lord. Yes, that's to the point of being yes, to the point of being full with Christ. To the point of being full with Christ. There is a point. There is a point. There is a point. There is a point of being fully grown. My brothers, my sister, there is a point. There is a point of being fully grown. There is a point. There is a point. There is a point. That's my emphasis this morning. And it's a mission. We have to embrace it. We have to participate in it. We have to make sure that, you know, we grow ourselves. We grow others. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We want to go back to verse 12 again. Romans It says, why is that why is that he gives us these special abilities to do certain things best yes why does he give the abilities yes for prophet for teachers for evangelists yes it is that the people of god can be equipped to do the work for him so when pastors and evangelists are given to us it's not just of us to say prophesy to us it's all of us that heal us it's not that they do things for us it's for them to to equip us to make us able believers in the kingdom to be partakers and participators yes in what we are supposed to be so that we can also be heirs unto his inheritance so we want to correct ourselves when we are in the kingdom we don't just come to receive prayer we don't just come to receive prophecy we just don't only come to receive aid we come to be equipped we come to be enabled we come to be enabled to be enabled believers to be true 
disciples will go out there equipped to do better in the work of the ministry. My brother, my sisters, let's expose ourselves to growth so that we can do better the work for him. Building up the church. We are supposed to build up the church. How do we build up the church? The body of Christ through winning souls. After winning souls, through making disciples, we will be able to make disciples. It's not about one man. It's not about one person. We are being equipped to be effective. We are being equipped to be independent in the Holy Spirit. We are being be effective. If we are being equipped to be able body. The Bible says, Mazipla Tangila. It was for freedom that Christ set us free. That we no more go to the bonds of slavery. No more slavery of any man. We are the slaves of Christ to serve him. To do his will in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus. To the position of maturity. My God, there is a position called the position of maturity. And it's your portion this day. It's my portion this day. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Oh, hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. So we need people to follow each other. We need people to work on each other. I said mission follow up. Let's go to Galatians chapter 4 verse 19. You can even put Amplified for me. Galatians chapter 4 verse 19 hallelujah glory to Jesus hallelujah glory to Jesus I've got the Williams version which says here yeah, all my dear children hallelujah put amplified for me but I'll read the, the I'll, I'll read the Williams version it says all oh, my dear children I am suffering I, I am suffering a mother like a pain for, for you again until Christ is formed in you again. I am suffering a mother like pain. I'm suffering a mother like pain in you until Christ is for, formed in you. Oh, Rabba Sita Kena Manto Ribo Sheta. This is Apostle Paul Lambasukoko, the apostle, the greatest evangelist, the, 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 the greatest person who, 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 who used to establish people, who taught people, who taught even us to be confident in the in the, in the in the in the word of god he says here i am suffering a mother like a pain for i'm suffering a mother's birth pain again for until christ is fully formed in you oh glory to jesus hallelujah glory to jesus hallelujah hallelujah glory to jesus what am i saying this morning if you are in the mission follow up if we are in mission follow up we must know that it's a pain it's a birth. It's a commitment. Oh, glory to Jesus. We have to commit our souls. We have to give ourselves to the kingdom. Yes, it's a commitment. It's not play. It's not child play. There is no children who give birth. You know, everyone has taken a woman, a, a, a mother to labor. You know, giving birth. No one can explain their experience. Those who give natural birth, the pains and the pain. You know, some people have spoken in times they've never spoken in yes to in in the neighborhood things happen there but the aim is the mother wants to bring out a child the mother wants to bring out a seed they scream but they don't run away from the neighborhood they will just be there they will just be holding on the bed they will scream but they'll be holding to give birth and just another meeting minute you hear somebody saying yeah and you hear they are the mother smiling with tears on their eyes they can't take away their eyes on the this baby but when there was there was there was the time of giving birth, there was pain. Yeah, 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 yeah. There was pain unexplainable. But what am I saying today? You know, this is your attitude. As we win, as we follow up, mission follow up, you have to determine that no, there might be pains. There must be pains. You cannot hold on. You cannot hold on as a mother giving birth. You have to going to hold on, hold on that bed until the baby comes out, until we see that person also minister in the kingdom and see you see that person also doing follow up until we see that person also minister in the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ being resolute and confident in the Lord Jesus Christ wow we are saying mission follow up is the mission for life it's not for this season it's not gonna end because the series has ended it's just it's just to ignite us to do the work to see the the the, 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 the product of the work of our hands oh my god my god my god who 
Lord. Ikina Muzubra Haya. Nation follow up. Mission follow up. Lakito Bra Sadiko Bra Taligoma. Nitsekra Dosha. Badiko Dasha. Getepe Dosha. Kalibo Doshika. Rabrosko De Shopra Tika Dosha Bita. Thank you, Lord Jesus Christ, for ability in our lives to follow up, to follow through others as a mother gives back. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Let's go to Colossians chapter 1, verse 20. 26, 28, Colossians chapter 1, verse 28, the NASB version. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Hallelujah. It says, Hallelujah. It says, We proclaim, Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. It says, Yeah, we proclaim Him, adominishing every man with all wisdom that we may present every man complete in Christ. Hallelujah. We proclaim, yes, adominish every man and teaching every man with all wisdom. We proclaim, we teach, teaching every man that we can present men as complete. There is a completeness, completeness which must present men in. There is a completeness which God wants us to go with men. So as we are building disciples, as we are following up, you can't follow up for one month for two months and you are tired. Your project is not complete. No mother goes to labor for 20 minutes. I know they talk about centimeters. The baby is coming, but the centimeters are still at 10. Are you still, are they still at two uh five six you don't say i'm going home this is no this is not making sense you know you know the, you know you know until we have the right you know you know you know you know you know send me down until the child is moving down you know you know you know you know no no you just you're you're, you're patient so what am i saying as we follow up each other we have to be patient with each other we know sometimes babies are a trouble babies sometimes they mess up babies sometimes they give up they are not thankful so you must know that you are have this mission that I want to present a man complete in Christ. This is my passion. This is my job. A mature disciple wants to present somebody complete. Every man complete. There is a completeness which God is looking from us and we must continuously um, put ourselves in that position to help each other. Let's go to 2 Corinthians chapter 2 verse 9 King James Version. It says to this end, hallelujah 2 Corinthians chapter 2 verse 9 to this end also did I write that I might know the and the proof of you whether you are obedient to all things hallelujah glory to jesus hallelujah hallelujah we need to be constant in touch we need to be constant in touch the apostle wrote a letter he says to for this end also i wrote that i might um, that i might know the proof of you whether you are obedient to all things he wrote a letter he wrote a letter to this end i write to you who have you been writing to you have got a lot of things to write on the apostle he wrote letters you can do whatsapp you can do messenger you can do a phone call you can do a a, a voice call there are lots of ways we can we can we can do but he did this he wrote letters my brothers my sister follow up must be continuously let's continue to help each other let's continue to make sure we assist each other i told you told you it's more than one phone call a month it's a continuous checking on a person on their welfare because love the apostle did this because he was moved by love whatever he did it was moved by lord the love of god compelled him this morning as we close this series. I want to pray to somebody under the sound of my voice. May the love of God can compel us. May it compel us yes, to love each other to be in this mission follow up. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Let's go to 1 Thessalonians chapter 3 verse 10. We can put King James Version. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. It says night and day praying exceedingly night and day praying exceedingly that we might see you face to face and that we might perfect that which is lacking in your faith huh? hey, hey. glory to Jesus night and day hallelujah night and day night and day praying most earnestly how earnest are you <laughs> how earnest are you when you're praying let's read that again pastor you know how earnest are you how earnest are you when you're praying for people you know whom you have i mean whom you have brought to christ hallelujah or you're earnest when you're only praying for your own issues night and day keep praying 
earnest, most earnestly, that we may see you face to face and complete what is lacking in your faith. Would you have desire that their faith can be complete? Would you have desire that they can be that that can that, that can be developed night and day? That we earnestly, that we may see you face to face. Ah, in follow up, there's a sense they need to see somebody face to face. Yes, I know the epidemic is still around, but now we have been allowed to go out. Go see somebody face to face. For go see somebody face to face. If you have not seen their face for a long time, it's time for you to go to knock on their door. The apostle says, see you face to face. He said, I wrote a letter, but now it's time I need to see you face to face. Who do you need to see face to face? If you're a pastor, there's some of your people you need to see face to face. If you're a hub leader, there's some people you need to see face to face. It's important when you see them face to face. There is a love, there's a connection, there's an impartation. Oh, cabros, there are some people you need to see face to face. I want you to put a list down of those people you need to see face to face. We say mission follow up. When I told you yesterday, you need to follow up even on your pastor. You need to follow up even on the deacons. You need to follow up in the other members in the church. Check on them. Would you have to check and see face to face in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ? Hallelujah. He said, I want to come there personally. Ah, Rabba Siko Rima Nebe Ruba Teka Teka Yapora Lakasika. This time I want to come there personally. There are times when I send letters, it's part of follow up. There are times when I send other men, but this time I want to see you face to face. Oh, glory to Jesus. Let's go to First Thessalonians chapter 3, verse 1 to 3. Oh, hallelujah. First Thessalonians 3, verse 1 to 3. Hallelujah. William Vision. Hamahuna Makaligo Sopra. First Thessalonians 3, verse 1 to 3. Global City Barrio Tosa. He says, So when I could not bear it any longer, <laughs> when I could not bear it any longer, glory to Jesus. Hallelujah. I'm reading William's version, but you can put, put that one. It's okay. When I could not bear it any longer, hallelujah, I decided to be left behind in a in Anthem alone. So I sent my brother Timothy, God's minister in the preaching of the good news of Christ, to strengthen and encourage you in your faith. I, number one prayer, I want your faith to be complete. In this part, I want to encourage your faith, to strengthen and encourage you in your faith so that, it, so that none might be deceived amid difficulties. So that none and might be deceived among difficulties. William Vision. He said, mm -mm 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 -mm. I understand it. there was a need for you. I had a burden in my heart. So what did I do? I said, leave me behind alone in Athlon. Why? Hallelujah. Because I want to send somebody to you. He didn't send an ordinary person. He said, I sent my brother Timothy, God's minister in preaching the good news of Christ. I didn't just send Send anyone. I sent my brother Timothy, God's minister, in distributing the, 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 the ministry of the gospel. Number one, to strengthen you. Mission follow up. You need to walk with your fist to strengthen somebody. One Saturday, say, I'm not going to do anything. I'm not going to watch soccer anyway. My team is losing. I'm just, <laughs> just joking. I'm just going to do follow up. I'm just going to do solo up. He says, I um, to strengthen and encourage you in the faith. So when somebody comes or follow up. You're not going to just come there and start to discuss, ah, it's so hard what's happening here. Yeah, the electricity. No, 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 no. He said, I'm sending my brother number one to strengthen and encourage So as you go, you're going to be praying, Lord, I'm a strengthener. I'm an encourager. I'm a strengthener. I'm an encourager. Hallelujah. In your faith. So that none of you might be deceived in the midst of difficulties. Akrima zupe tete nanti baso and things are hard when things are difficult people can be deceived people can seek she, she grab their faith hallelujah yes that vision says so that none of you will be disturbed by affliction <laughs> my brothers when affliction come when disease come when weakness come when legs come when death come it's disturbing it's disturbing. The enemy sent it to disturb it. But the Bible says, oh, so that no one will be disturbed in, the, in the, this affliction. When you hear your brother or sister is under affliction, go then so that they may not be disturbed. So that they may not be disturbed. For you yourself know 
that we have been de destined for this. Yes, you must know your destiny. Your destiny is to encourage others. Your destiny is to encourage another brother in the Lord. Yes, as we close, hallelujah, glory to Jesus. Let's go to First Thessalonians chapter 2, verse 8. First Thessalonians chapter 2, verse 8. Masupre lehuda bahaya. Let me read, Pastor. Halab also priyata kasiga. First Thessalonians chapter 2, verse 8. Hallelujah. It says, Because we were yearning for you so tenderly, we were willing not only to share with you God's good news, but to lay down our lives to you. Oh, because you were so dearly, you, you, so because we so dearly, you dearly loved us loved you were dearly loved by us hallelujah we were willing we were willing because we loved you because we are willing because we loved you we were willing because we loved you oh glory to jesus glory to jesus glory to jesus oh hallelujah hallelujah there is a love there is a love there is a love yes i was reading first thessalonians chapter 2 verse 8 first thessalonians chapter 2 verse 8 my god my god labo zobra telekab zobria talaka Man so It says, you know, you know, we were willing, we were willing because we loved you, because we loved you, because we loved you. Hallelujah. We were willing, we were willing. Oh, glory to Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Having so, so far, having so found an affliction for you, an affection for you. We found an affection for you. We were well pleased to impart to impart to you not only the gospel of God but also our own life because you have become very dear to us my brothers my sisters as we close this morning there are some people who must be so dear to you not because of any benefits just because you begot them in Christ just because they are children in Christ father in Jesus name we thank you may we Give us grace and grace and grace and grace to be in a position to love other people, to be make people dear to us. As your word says, the love of God has been shared abroad in our hearts. May your love be shared abroad in our hearts in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ so that we can effectively do the work of the ministry to follow up each other in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. God bless you and good morning. Have a great morning morning ahead let's continue in the praying fast today today we are praying for the word of god for we know the word of god cannot be broken in the name of the lord jesus christ oh hallelujah so join us today lunch hour and today six o'clock 6 30 we are at the mega church from 6 30 i think to 9 30 join in join in there we'll be pushing together make sure you take yourself there make sure you take yourself there to the mega church make sure you come if we can let's come let's do it together yeah be there on site but if you're out of job back and houting make sure you log on our line hallelujah glory to jesus glory to jesus hallelujah glory to jesus hallelujah just a last word as i was praying in the midnight prayer with the people who joined in god gave me a scripture in ezekiel chapter 12 verse 28 remember we are talking about the word of god the the word says it ezekiel chapter 12 Verse 20 says, therefore say, therefore says to them, this is what the sovereign Lord says, none of my words will be delayed any longer. Whether I say will be, what I, whatever I say will be fulfilled, declare the sovereign Lord. None of my words will be declared any longer. None of my words will be declared any longer. Whatsoever word I speak will be performed, declares the Lord. Father, in Jesus' name, we thank you for this special season. For in our lives, you are so expectant. As your word said this morning, none of your word will be delayed. In our situation, as we pray this 21 days. Father, no more delay. Thank you for answered prayer. Thank you for testimonies. Thank you for wonders. Thank you for miracles. Thank you for surpassing our standard standing. Thank you for that which you have never imagined, that you have never seen. You have in store for us in this season. God bless you. Good morning. Have a blessed Friday ahead. See you on Monday. Jesus is Lord. Hallelujah.